Dwayne Duggan, Remax of Boulder Video Podcast. DB, thanks for being here today. My pleasure. DB is quite the statistician here at Remax of Boulder. We rely on him to get all sorts of information to help our clients. And today, I'm excited. So why I'm excited today, as opposed to any other day? It's quarter time! So it's the end of the quarter report. So it's a chance to kind of see how we did over a three month period rather than just um, a one month period. And it is early in the year, so it's hard to say sometimes where the whole year is going based on the first quarter. Absolutely. End of the second quarter, that really gives you a sense of how the market's going for the year. So let's dive right into this the first quarter report. Start with single family. Let's do. Okay. And you're right, Dwayne, because oftentimes, if you're just looking at, at one month, uh, the data point is so small that um, you can get a, a very wide fluctuation. Right. So when you start looking in a quarter, you're starting to get more of a sense of how things are going. And of course, we look at 10 different things. We look at the number of actives on the market. We look at median price range. We look at average price range. We look at sales price to list price. We look at days on the market, the total number of sales that have occurred, the number of expired listings, those that never did sell, the months of inventory, the percentage under contract, and then what the interest rate is. And we always compare that with the same period from the year before. And so we'll be looking at first quarter this year compared to the first quarter last year. Of 2016. Perfect. Exactly. Okay. One thing of note and significance, I think, in both uh, single family and attached dwelling, but we'll focus on single family now, is that we're actually seeing inventory start to rise. This is a really good thing. Um, it will give buyers more of a selection. It uh, probably will slow down the appreciation that we're seeing because what we've experienced the last three years is truly unsustainable. And so we're still seeing good appreciation. Uh, as a matter of fact, an average price is up 8% over a year ago. Now it's uh, just under $650,000. So 6559 The median prices are also going up about 12% over a year ago. That's at about uh, 588000 now. And that's for Boulder County. That's all of Boulder County. Um, so prices, Price is pretty expensive at this point, and we've all been talking about affordability. Right. Again, I think the increase in inventory is going to help. That being said, there's still, in all of Boulder County, just 688 homes available, as opposed to a year ago, 640. 50% of those are under contract, so there's still huge demand from buyers. It equates to about 3.7 months of inventory. We look at five to seven months and being a stable market. Anything less than that is, is considered a seller's market. And uh, what we are seeing though is that the sales price to list price is starting to drop slightly, which is an indication that um, maybe sellers have gotten a little too aggressive price-wise. Maybe realtors are getting a little uh, aggressive. Um, the interest rates also popped up uh, by about 14%, uh, finished at about 4.2%, which is still incredibly low. But uh, all of these factors are starting, I think, to play into the market, and I think it is becoming increasingly important uh, for someone to use a realtor and to have their expertise and added to the have equation. All these stats at their fingertips, like you know yep. what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that, and that's why we look at ten different things. You know, if you were just to say, well, we still got appreciation of eight percent. That's true, okay, but there are some other factors that are saying mm, we're starting to see just a little bit of a change in the marketplace. And we have to remember, real estate is local, so it's general statistics don't always feed down right to the exact neighborhood or street even that you're on. Somewhere. Absolutely. I, I would not rely on Boulder County right. statistics if I'm in Longmont. It might be totally different than if I'm in Boulder. So, right. And that's the other thing that the realtor can bring to the table. Okay. Sounds good. Ready to jump into attached dwellings? Absolutely. Um, attached dwelling, the inventory is even an increase up more than, than we were a year ago. It's up 53%. Now, at first blush, you say, whoa, that's, yeah. that is incredibly different. That's really a sign of a slowing market. But again, if you look at some of the other 10 statistics, you, I think you'll see that this is really a good thing because we were abnormally low a year ago and the year before that. And um, what this has done is it's equated to 38% more sales 
this year than last year. Um, yeah, and inventory, you can sell something. <laughs> precisely, precisely. But um, just as an example, a year ago, for the first three months, there have been 190 sales. This year, it's 265 sales, so substantially more. Um, we still have 63% uh, under contract. Again, that you know that inventory right. is being absorbed. We're still at just 1.9 months worth of inventory, so still a seller's market. The average price is now up a, a little over 10% over a year ago, and, and finished it out at 408,000. Again, that's countywide. So it, it's very strong. Thankfully, we're starting to see some more uh, units come onto the market. It's really increasing um, the availability for buyers. Uh, and I, we expect that inventory to continue to rise. And the affordability is going to be the issue, though. Um, typically, as you know, attached dwelling, that's kind of a, a great entry point for a first time home buyer. With interest rates going up, prices going up as much as they are, affordability is a real problem. Right. Well, at least with uh, the FHA uh, backing off a little bit on the owner occupancy ratio, that ought to help a little bit. Absolutely. So, absolutely, it's like thirty-five percent now. Yeah. Instead of fifty-one. Yeah. So. No, that should help. I think there's a lot of uh, good things in play, um, and sales price to list price, even with all these additional units on the market, is still over a hundred percent. So, I mean, it's still a very strong market right. for a seller, and and can be a little frustrating for a buyer, but I do believe it's starting to go in the right direction as far as, as availability. Buyers, a little more choice yep. that's out there. Yep. Any other insights about the market? Uh, you know, I, I, I think it is starting to change. I think it's hopefully is going to get a little more sanity to it, and I think that that's good even if you're a seller. I think it's good just because the... Sanity's uh, a good word for it. Well, the, the appreciation rates that we've experienced the last three years just cannot be sustained forever, and I think when it, it starts to check itself, I think that's, that's good for the market. I think it's good for everybody. And so um, I, we're pleased, and it's still a wonderful time to buy and a terrific time to sell. Right, both ways. Yep. All right, thank you, DB. Appreciate your insight on the market. You betcha. Dwayne Duggan, Remax of Boulder, Video Podcasts, signing off.